Okay, yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Torrance here, coming to you today with another video. So today, I am on the World of Warcraft beta. I'm currently on my Windwalker Monk, and I'm going to be showing you guys all the best ways to burst as a monk right now. It's currently the 7th of June, so any changes that are going to happen to the class after this date, obviously, um, they won't be in the game right now when I'm recording this, so they won't affect this video. So this video is going to be very similar to the Boomkin burst video that I made. Obviously, I'm a Boomkin mainly, so mainly a Boomkin channel, so the Boomkin one went up first. If you guys missed that and you want to check it out, the link will be in the description down below. If you have seen it, you sort of know the format for this video, how it is going to work. So I will be making a discussion video for Windwalkers right now in Legion. I do have a Boomkin version of that up already. Obviously, like I said, I'm a Boomkin channel, so I did that one first. I talked about the main changes and all that sort of stuff. I, I will be doing that version of that video four monks but not just yet we're going to get this burst one out for you guys first so let's get started so there's a few different ways you can go about doing this okay i'm not sure if you guys know about how touch of death is in legion right now i'll put the tool tip up on the screen but as um it reads here um use the ancient pandera knowledge of blah 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 after eight seconds the target will take damage equal to your maximum health reduced against players you guys might not know but monks right now in legion they don't have really any offensive cooldowns so this new touch of death is pretty much the closest that you get to an offensive cooldown. So I'll show you guys how to burst with touch of death, how to burst without touch of death, and um, all the different ways that you can go about doing both of those things. So I have managed to get a rogue on the beta to be my little target dummy for today. Very, very grateful. So there are two abilities that we are going to be using in all of these. And that is firstly is Storm, Earth and Fire. Now I made a dedicated video on Storm, Earth and Fire that is a very... Um, important important ability for monks right now in Legion, much different to how it is in Warlords right now. So I'll link that in the description down below. And the next one is Fist of Fury, as that is still our hardest hitting ability. Now, what you want to try do first, obviously, you could start this already being at full chi, and you could already start with your mastery stacked up all the way. Okay, so I'll show you guys what that means now. So our mastery up here, combo strikes, as it says here, your abilities deal 20% more damage when they are not a repeat of the previous ability into blackout kick you can see the stacks are going up okay so you can get that all the way up to 10 so obviously in an ideal situation you will have all 10 stacks so your fist damage is increased by 50 percent so in all of these situations i am going to be using storm earth and fire when we do it without touch of death with touch of death as the chances are that you are going to have a storm earth and fire charge ready at that time and you do want to have one of those every single time you are going to try burst so like i said in an ideal situation you do want to have these stacks ready so what you want to do is pop your storm earth and fire sorry get to full chi then put your touch of death on someone into rushing jade wind into a rising sun kick so you get the healing debuff into your fists of fury and then the touch of death will tick and he's dead. So as you can see, Fist of Fury does quite a lot of damage, especially when you have it with that buff enabled as well. And touch of death does take off a mighty chunk of health, which is what putting down at the end there. However, you might not always have touch of death available. So we are going to do it again here with the stack. So what you want to do is come in, get full chi, pop your Storm Earth Fire into your Rushing Jade Weed, into Rising Sun Kick, into Fist of Fury. When that is out, you want to use a jab, get your artifact weapon out, whirling dragon punch if you need to at the end there, and that is how you burst without touch of death. So not quite as bursty, definitely more sustained damage than doing it with touch of death, because if you can get touch of death to land at the same time as you do your fists or that last rising sun kick or your artifact weapon, that is going to take off a big chunk in one go. I'm going to show you another way how to burst without touch of death though, and it's using the same sort of ID, using the same abilities, but sort of spacing them out differently. This time I'm also going to be doing it without the 10 stacks up for the Fist of Fury so you guys can get an idea of what the fist damage is going to be if you're not in that ideal sort of situation. So what you want to do is build up your chi and then pop your storm, earth and fire into the rising sun kick first, into the jade wind, into the fists. Watch the fist go down, boom, 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 into the artifact weapon and that is it there. So that time you do the rising sun kick first so that you get the um, mortal wounds debuff on them which reduces their healing received by 25% 
so that helps um, not only with your rushing jade wind but also with your fists as well so after the fist you will have your artifact ability which will be like empowered to a degree i guess because the healing received by the player is reduced by 25 percent sort of assuming that this would be in a 3v3 situation where putting up that debuff on them first is going to be really really important obviously 25 percent reduced healing is a lot but not only that because if they are still receiving healing they're not going to go down um, that fast in one go unless you've cc the healer really well so that means that after the artifact weapon because you use the rising sun kick first your rising sun kick will probably be off of cooldown so you can go into another rising sun kick which will reapply the debuff and then you can go into your whirling dragon punch so they are the ways which i think you can go about bursting when you don't use touch of death and now i did touch of death at the start but i am going to show you again here now touch of death but without the 10 stacks for the fists of fury there's quite a few ways that you can um, burst as a monk right now you can do it with or without the 10 stacks with or without touch of death in the order that you do things in when you do use touch of death or when you don't lots of different ways but i'm going to show you this last way here without the 10 stacks of the fist but using touch of death so you want to apply touch of death first so that it starts ticking down get to full chi pop your storm earth fire into the rushing jade wind into the fists and then you can pop a rising sun kick he should have died there but you can pop the rising sun kick as you watch your touch of death timer um, get to zero so it sort of does that chunk of damage at the same time better than that you could um, time it with your artifact weapon ability as i'm pretty sure that hits quite a lot harder than rising sun kick you can do it either way depending what is or isn't on cooldown at the time but i think that is going to cover it from me in this video guys i hope i was thorough and i hope i showed you guys the power of monks right now in legion like i've said in my boom King video and in lots of my other videos on the beta all the numbers and all that sort of stuff aren't how they're going to be in live right now okay so um this burst might not say the same other classes burst isn't going to say the same it doesn't necessarily mean that this is how it's going to be in live but it's definitely encouraging i really like how the class is right now how it plays how it feels it feels like you have lots of buttons to press and i think that makes me feel like a monk quite a lot i will be talking more about how the class feels and all that sort of stuff in the discussion video that i mentioned at the start of this video so the format for that is going to be very similar to my boomkin discussion video which like i said at the start is going to be linked down in the description i hope you did enjoy if you did leave a like rating down below get subscribed to the channel i'm uploading like five days a week right now really enjoying making content for you guys and i have much much more to come but for now i would like to thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time